Hello everyone, yo soy Isabel y como verás en este vídeo hemos cambiado nuestra reputada serie de palabras que pronuncias mal por ciudades que pronuncias mal. Y es que si eres seguidor del blog de amigos ingleses, seguramente no te importaría nada ir de vacaciones y alojarte en un cottage en la campiña inglesa, viajar en autobús de dos plantas y lanzarte por una colina detrás de un queso cheddar. That sounds like my cup of tea. And if you're one of those students and visiting my country is on your wish list, keep watching because in this video we're going to help you to pronounce correctly some very typically mispronounced place names from around the UK. Let's get started. Okay, so let's kick off with an easy one. This city is considered the home of football, but not many people know it's also where vegetarianism started. And it's a big city in the north of England. It's also where I went to university and where I had my car stolen and set on fire. Wow, okay. Esta tiene que ser Manchester, entonces. The pronunciation, don't forget, it's got a schwa at the end, so it's Manchester. Manchester. Let's hear you. Manchester. Manchester. That sounds better. Okay, next we have a very picturesque, beautiful city in East Anglia. It's very famous for the prestigious university where Charles Darwin, Isaac Newton and Stephen Hawking all studied. Also the birthplace of Amigos Ingleses. Entonces es Cambridge. Estás hablando de Cambridge, ¿verdad? The pronunciation is Cambridge. Cambridge. ¿Y sabes por qué se llama Cambridge? Porque el río que pasa por Cambridge es el río Cam. Yes. Y, y hay un puente. Hay varias puentes. <laughs> Next, if you're afraid of flying and you go to England by ferry, then you will be welcomed by the white cliffs of... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been there because I went to England by car. Yep. Entonces llegué a Dover. It's pronounced Dover. 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 Dover, that's better. Okay, the next city is also very picturesque and very green. And apparently it had the first fire service in the whole world. It's the capital of Scotland. I'm sure you know. Claro que sí, es Edinburgh. The correct pronunciation is Edinburgh. 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 Repeat it. Edinburgh. That's it. Edinburgh. ¿Y cómo lo diría un escocés? Edinburgh. Next. Well, you can go for a stroll down Penny Lane. You can go for a pint at the Cavern Club. And it's the birthplace of the Beatles. I'm sure you know. It is Liverpool. Isabel, watch my mouth. Liverpool. 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 I'm from Liverpool. Liverpool. I've got a Scouse accent because I'm from Liverpool. All right. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Ciao. See you later. All right. Okay, the next city is a very special place for Isabel because when she was just 12 years old, she went there to study English for one month, right? Yes, and I was eating chips with ketchup for the whole month. It's also the second largest city in the UK. Creo que estás hablando de Birmingham. 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 Repeat. Birmingham. 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 Yeah, some Americans say Birmingham. <laughs> oh no! I'm going to Birmingham. <laughs> Como jamón. And how do people from Birmingham speak? Birmingham. If you've got a Brummy accent, right? It's like Ozzy Osbourne. It's the second largest city in the UK. It's Birmingham. Okay, next. Situated in the East Midlands, this city is one of the oldest in the whole country. And aside from its football team, it's also famous for its delicious, tasty red cheese. Oh, and it also has a square named after it in London. Which city am I talking about? Got it. Leicester. It's pronounced Leicester. 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 Let's hear you. Leicester. That's it. Perfect. 
Red Leicester Cheese, Leicester City, Leicester Square. Okay, the next city is a walled city. It's very old. It has more than 365 pubs. Not bad. That's good. One for each day of the year. It's where Guy Fawkes was born. You know Guy Fawkes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that uh, man who tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament. We have a podcast about him. Yeah, he's a bad man. It's also one of Britain's most haunted cities. <laughs> oh, and there's a new version in the States. Como el jamón, York. Yeah, don't pronounce the R, just York. York. The next city was the second largest city in England for over 700 years until the Industrial Revolution. It's located in Norfolk, which is one of the very few counties without any motorways. Creo que estás hablando de Norwich. It's pronounced Norwich. Norwich. Mm, Norwich, yeah, it's better enough. The next place is not too far from London and it's where many children from London were evacuated to during the Second World War. Oh, and it has a very well-known music festival which takes place every summer. Are we talking about Reading? No, not Reading, not Reading. It's pronounced Reading, Reading. Repeat. Ah, vale. Reading. 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 That's it. Ah, sí, este es el sitio donde tú corriste desnudo, ¿no? Alrededor de un festival. Bajo los efectos de la sidra. Isn't it? Yes. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Okay, the next place is situated on the edge of the very famous and beautiful Peak District National Park. Also famous for being where the Industrial Revolution started. Mm -hmm. Creo que estás hablando de Derby. It looks like Derby, but it's pronounced Derby. Derby. Darby. Yeah. Y por último, mi favorita. Esta no es una ciudad, sino que es un barrio al norte de Londres. Pero si te gusta el fútbol, segurísimo que has oído hablar del mm, Hotspur. Y seguro que también lo estás pronunciando mal. Porque ¿cómo se pronuncia? Tottenham. 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 Tottenham Hotspur, also known as Spurs, or the neighborhood of Tottenham. Let's yeah. see you. Tottenham. That's it. Tottenham, yeah. Tottenham. Escuchamos a todo el mundo decir Tottenham. That's impossible to guess. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, pues esto es todo por hoy, ¿no, Philip? Eso es todo. That's everything. Volveremos pronto con más vídeos de pronunciación, pero si te ha ayudado este vídeo, no te vayas sin darnos un like y nos encantaría leer en los comentarios cuántas de estas ciudades estabas pronunciando bien. And if you like this video, why don't you watch our other pronunciation videos? We have quite a few on our channel. Come and have a look. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Turn on notifications and we'll see you very soon. Okay? Okay, see you in the next class. Bye bye. Bye. Claro que sí. Edinburgh. Ay, sorry, lo he dicho bien. If you're from Birmingham, you tend to talk a bit like that, right? That's Liverpool, man. Yeah. <laughs>